Hey, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. This video will show how I created this marbled acrylic unicorn nail. Be sure to like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page. Today I will be creating on my realistic silicone practice hand. You can purchase this hand on my website www.nailsbynikki.com and use coupon code Nikki for 10% off. I've already applied tips and removed the shine from the nails, so let's jump right in. When marbling colored acrylic, I pick up two different colored beads at once, half and half on my brush, and I work slightly more wet than I normally would to help the colors blend easier. I try to choose colors that blend well together so that the colors they create are still complementary to the design. I'll repeat these steps, alternating colors, until I've reached the look that I'm going for. All of the products that I'm using in this video are listed in the description box below. If there's a discount code available, it will be listed after the product. I will be capping the designs in clear acrylic, but I'll let the colors cure a bit while I create the rest of the nails as not to disturb the designs. For this ombre nail, I'm going to build up my apex first because even though I'm going to cap the designs in clear acrylic, I only really need the glitter to be capped so that I don't file away the design. I didn't bring this cover pink all the way over the tip of this nail for a couple of reasons. One is that I kind of wanted the baby boomer look to the nail where it had the pink and white ombre. And the other reason is so that it would not be too thick over the free edge. I didn't want to bring that cover pink over the nail, put glitter on top of that and cap it in clear acrylic. While I'm doing ombre on this nail as well, I'm going to cover the full nail with the colored acrylic because I'm going to do the glitter at the base of this nail. While I still have the pinky nail to design, I'm going to go ahead and cap the first nail in clear acrylic before I design the pinky. On the nails that I did not build up the apex with the colored acrylic, I'll make sure to add a good stress ball and create an apex with the clear.
I did cap the pinky in clear acrylic as well, but my camera cut out after I finished this finger. When using my e-file on my practice hand, I make sure to be very careful around the cuticle area, just like I would be on a live client. The silicone is very durable and acetone resistant, but it is possible to cut it. If I'm working on a longer nail like these, I will hold the nail at the base when filing closer to the free edge to keep from putting too much pressure or stress on the silicone nail bed. The nails are very secure when the primer that I sell with the hands is used, but being too rough can cause tearing if you force the nail off. I'm also very careful not to cut the hand with my hand file. Similar to filing on a live client's nails, you may want to score your files to remove the sharp edges. I will again hold the base of the nail when filing to avoid putting excessive stress on the nail bed. I not only file the sides and free edge of my nails, but under the nail as well to remove any rough edges. I'm going to be doing a unicorn nail on top of the marble acrylic nail, so I wipe that off to remove any dust before starting. When applying my chrome gel to a unicorn nail, I make sure to get full coverage between the swirls.
When applying chrome to these nails, I alternate which end of my silicone tool I will use. I use the flat end to cover the majority of the nail, then the pointed end to make sure I'm getting in between the swirls. I prefer to use a grip base over chrome nails to ensure that it doesn't rub off with normal wear and tear. I decided on a matte top coat for all of the nails except for the unicorn nail. I really like the way that this glitter looks matte. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when I post new content.